invited to an evening filled with magic, beauty, and getting in touch with your feminine energy. Okay, Jordan Segundo is in Orangeville with a special preview. Hey, Jay. Good morning. Yes, this is all for the ladies. So we're going to keep that trend going here. This Sunday is a very special full moon women's circle, and all the ladies are encouraged to come out here, join the class, join the workshop, and really get in touch, yes, with their feminine side, you know, reconnect with their inner self, and hopefully get some awareness and some enlightenment, all by harnessing the power of the full moon. And this morning, I'm joined here with Courtney, who will be guiding this Sunday's uh, full moon women's circle. Good morning. Thanks for having us tell us about the full moon circle what is it all about yeah well first and foremost women supporting women right so creating a very safe space for women to come in and have a journey whether that's needing to heal or maybe just be supported so yeah just creating a space for that now the workshop starts at 5 30 here in uh, in Orangeville at uh, unbound yoga and fitness tell us what the class is all about or what the workshop guide us through a, a little bit of what women can expect yeah, for sure. So a couple of the things that we typically do, and of course there's variations of this, but you can always expect to do some kind of meditation. So like Sarah over here is, um, she's the owner, by the way, and she's doing a fire meditation. Um, so just staring in, it's like harnessing focus and getting rid of the monkey chatter. Um, the other things that you can expect would be like some journaling. There's usually a theme. Each full moon has an energy around it. So you can be journaling on questions, feelings, anything that might be coming up. Um, and then just, again, like supporting, sometimes sharing, and everything like that. And you also include sometimes with some of these workshops, because they change every month, depending on the energy of the full moon, like you mentioned, even some movement and some dance. So ladies who are interested should come dress comfortably, right? Yeah, exactly. Dress in something that you can move around in, um, but not necessarily like full-blown yoga attire <laughs> if you don't want to. Um, yeah, and sometimes you're just doing little little movement work, like um, eye gazing or yeah, dancing, like you said. And for you know, it's going to be an, a different experience for each person, but for some ladies, they can come out here and be real transformative in in many ways, right? Absolutely, yeah. Um, and of course, that'll depend on the person and what they need each time. But that's part of what I um, aim to create every time is a very safe place. So if someone does need that extra support and healing. This can be a huge transformative experience. Oh, fantastic. Again, if you are out there and this resonates with you, maybe this Sunday might be a good time to come out here. Join the Women's Circle. Get inspired. Get motivated. We'll have the website up on our screen. But, Courtney, one of the things you also do, as I know you have a few cards laid out, is you have uh, some of the participants pick a card. But you are suggesting uh, that I go in this morning and just try to find one of the cards from the Spirit Animal book. Yeah. Um, so I always have a lot of different uh, card decks around, and I would love love for you to be our honorary man and go ahead and pick one and you know, maybe see what calls to you. So All right. take a moment, take a breath, and pick one. <sighs> well, here we go. Thanks for letting me join the circle, ladies. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pull a card from this deck right here. It's, it's sort of calling to me. I'm going to go this one right here. Okay, okay. let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? I pulled the unicorn <laughs> card from the animal. Of course you did. Spirit animal deck. Can you tell me about the unicorn? What, is, what, what does that mean for I me? I feel to... like this one's so perfect for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the unicorn is associated with um, the uh, third eye chakra. Ah. Um, so it's a lot of just wisdom, just like this suggests, like the unicorn horn coming out of the third eye. So it's your connection, connection to um, higher wisdom, being able to see clear, clearly and all that. So, awesome. Perfect for you. Oh, that was a fun card. That, that was, was a fun, fun card. card. Definitely opening up the third eye. Again, all you ladies, if you're interested in joining the Women's Circle, this would be the place to be again happening this Sunday at Unbound Yoga and Fitness right here in Orangeville. All the information up on our screen. Come out and enjoy a wonderful night of connecting and, of course, uh, just spending time with, with your fellow ladies. Yes. Thank you, Courtney, and thank you, ladies, for showing up, and we appreciate it. We'll send it back to you. I'm the unicorn of good day. You yes, are you the are. unicorn. You are I love that. <laughs> And Jordan, by the way, is so in his element right now. He is. He really is. <laughs> Thanks, All right, Jordan. Jordan. <laughs>